program going, I'd like to point you to this poster that I made here. If you're interested in seeing the calendar of events in the atrium, you can go to that website, ecplayers.weebly.com, and at the bottom of that page, there's a button if you would like to receive the uh, email notices that I send out each week that has more detailed information about the upcoming events. But today, we have In Accord Peace Choir, so let's give them a nice welcome. Thank you for coming. We are in Accord Community Choir. This is an a cappella choral group that sings for peace, justice, love of nature, and the joy of music. We are an all comers choir, and we invite members to join in September of each year. We choose our own music, learn it by heart, and guided by the talented leadership of Maureen Robeson, our professional choir director. By invitation, we often sing for community organizations, supporting <coughs> events they organize on behalf of pro-social causes and values. In Accord sings to increase peace, harmony, and beauty in our community. Our first song is 1% Phosphorus. Are we all so different? Color, sexuality, level of wealth, political or religious preferences. It might seem that we are vastly different. But David Burns and Dave Tarlow asked Pete Seeger to write music to their lyrics, and Seeger agreed, making this the last recording, the last recording of this song when he was 89 years old. <laughs> what an inspiration. And this song, 1% Phosphorus, reminds us that we are all equal. In fact, the same. <laughs>
your life with me. From 1% flux prison, 1.4% calcium, carbon and nitrogen, 26%. And we are 71% water and smaller amounts of 40 other elements. Lives in the Balance is a powerful song by Jackson Brown. During the Reagan administration, Brown revealed his political conscience in this song, despite the risk of damage to his popularity. He dared to ask, who are these men who sell arms to warring countries where their business interests lie? There are lives in the balance. by Brian Tate, see if you can hear the sound of strings that he insinuated into this expressive and reverent piece. <clears throat> Yeah. 
Even though over two decades old, No More Silence continues to be an anthem for movements against gun violence, violence against women, native peoples, and other causes. This is our call today, to stand up together for life. For silence, no more silence, we will shout. multinational 3M Corporation learns that the struggle has been joined by 3M workers in South Africa, the result is a powerful and inspiring sense of global community. Listen as our ensemble singers sing, Ain't it strange what people can change when they find they're not alone? I remember when I was a little kid meeting Daddy Lights. And I'd climb up on his shoulders on those hot New Jersey nights. He always told when I got old how I would work there too. Now 20 years on the line, in two weeks' time, they're telling me that I'm through. Well, you don't have to tell me that times are bad and there's trouble and I'm glad my daddy never lived to see what's happening to this town. But I turned on the news just this morning and it gave me chills to see some 3M workers in South Africa walking off of their jobs for me. You gotta know when to move. You gotta know when to move. You gotta know. 
who have gone before them as having crossed over a river and senses that their spirits are still present. We sing for you Moyuba, a song of praise and invocation from those traditions. With this song we remember friends from our choir, members of our families and communities that have died. We feel their presence among us.
all of us, from any persuasion, feel the pull toward justice. Composer Ben Alloway set an Old Testament verse to music in, My Soul is a River, using the same words that are etched in the Civil Rights Memorial in Montgomery, Alabama. The song pre premiered at the United Nations on Dr. Martin Luther King's 75th birthday. For us, it's a heartfelt call for justice to flow down like water. My soul is a river, my soul is a river, my soul is a river, winding through a weary land, my soul is a river, my soul Stephen Hatfield. Dubula means to chase away, and the lyrics say, this bird is no good, let's chase it away. The words may have covert political meaning in a country with a troubled history of oppression. Song and dance are nearly always intertwined in South African musical traditions, and this boisterous song just calls us to dance. Chilo, chilo, ufe teli kendo mo. Takana, chilo, chilo, ufe teli kendo mo.
tradition. It was written by California's duo Mamuse, a favorite of folk, local folk music audiences. The songwriters, Carisha Longacre and Sarah Nutting, both music therapists, <laughs> want their music to lift people up and connect us to the richness of life. Both women have backgrounds in music, oh, both women see music as a healing form, and this song is about healing, laying our troubles down. Ah, sweet <coughs> release. by our sopranos and altos.
wrote a bluesy song with a poetic plea. Treat the young child like an orchid. Her prayerful and powerful song was transformed by a Portland women's ensemble, Misty River, who created this arrangement with, well, with, with help from who created this arrangement with close harmonies. Women, the women in from in a chord choir will sing for you Heather's song to you as a call for tenderness and humanity. she describes when we pave paradise and put up a parking lot. Mm -hmm. Fifty years later, we are still just waking up to what we've got before it's gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Put me 
composer Ola Gielo, but inspired by Gregorian chant. As a peace choir, we identify with the song's closing line, and from a sincere heart, let us love one another.
There's nothing like reggae to get us dancing, <laughs> but also reflecting. American Jewish reggae composer Mati Siahu wrote one day to challenge and inspire us. We see a day without violence. We hold on to hope that it will all turn around. Making the song even more relevant, one day was sung at a vigil for the victims of the hateful shooting this year at Pittsburgh's Tree of Life Synagogue. Surrounds. I know someday 